Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for another Jurassic World Evolution Mod Showcase. Yes, they're doing another one. And um, before we get started, I'm going to do a quick overview of what I have planned for the month of October. Because I'm recording this on the 1st of October and hopefully it will go up next week. So yeah, we have four lovely, beautiful lightning dinosaurs to go through here. A couple of updates to certain uh, models as well from the Battle Royale. So as you can see here, have some icon updates. And yes, <laughs> I have two car cards because I used the wrong pattern on this one. But yeah, some icon updating this there. And yes, we still have this we still have the snow fresh from the Cryolophosaurus. Thank you for that, my friend. Uh, yeah, I got lots planned for for in terms of mods. So we're gonna have this mod showcase. I do plan to do another mod showcase, and maybe it will there will be a new hybrid involved. <laughs> Oh, you're never going to guess what it is. You're never going to get it. And yes, it is going to be a herbivore hybrid. Because I, I haven't done one yet. And it's going to be an absolute beast. It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen before. It's going to be insane. And that's all you get for now, you greedy punks. You're asking for too much information. And I'm giving you plenty of information. So yeah, that's what I have planned for the next showcase. A brand new hybrid. <laughs> And if I can squeeze one in before Halloween, I might do another one. But again, because I'd be, I'll be starting my big tournament this month, that is going to take up a lot of my time. So I'm not going to push it and say I'm going to get two more showcases done before Halloween. And why I say before Halloween is because I plan to do another Battle Royale as a Halloween special with a special guest participant. <laughs> kind of like what I did with the last one where I added the cryo in because it was kind of out of place in my future showcases so yes i'm going to do it again this time for halloween we got something else as well so it'll be these four the next four including the new hybrid and whatever mystery dinosaur i put in for the halloween battle royale isn't that exciting there's plenty of you to, for you to look forward to and again again if i can do it i will try and squeeze another mod showcase in if i don't then it'll probably be at the start of november i haven't actually decided what skins i'm going to make after this I mean, I have one skin which I've, I've, I started months ago but never finished, which is, uh, well, I might as well show you because no point in hiding it. The uh, Piantnitsky Saurus, and I, I actually have it as a new species. Oh yeah, you can see some of my icon changes here. If I scroll down to Piantnitsky Saurus, wherever it is. Ah, there, Piantnitsky Saurus. I actually have it as a new species, but I haven't actually finished the skin, and it's been that way for months. So that will probably be in the next showcase, along with the hybrid and its components. Well, its component, because I've already done one of its components, so there's no point in showcasing that. But anyway, that's enough about the future. Let's talk about this video. So yes, we have four lightning dinosaurs, because I don't have many lightning dinosaurs to showcase. And we are going to start... Oh, we'll start with Diceratops. Or, as it's, com as it's known now, Nidoceratops. Well, that's not the best angle in the world. But yes, we have a Nidoceratops. As it, well, as it is known now. But I, I've called it Diceratops because that's what it was called in Dinosaur King. But this is Nidoceratops. Just, just to get some clarification because of all the name changes and stuff. I think Diceratops was already taken. So they had to change the name to Nidoceratops. Which means, if I'm correct, I think it means... Near horn face? I'll probably put the right meaning in if I'm wrong, which I probably am. And well, you can't fight the Gojirasaurus. <laughs> I forgot I got this guy in here from last time. But yeah, this is Diceratops. Not much to say here. Basically, just use the Triceratops model since it's so similar. Remove the nasal, ho nasal horn and straighten these horns as well so it, so it looks more Diceratops y like. Um, the biggest problem I probably had was the white bits, mainly because if I made them too bright, because the Diceratops, says white bits are quite white, if you get what I mean. If I, but if I made them too bright, they'd be too luminescent, so I think having it at this shade works better. So yeah, that is Diceratops, 
or Nidoceratops, whichever one you prefer. I'm going to say Diceratops, because we're Dinosaur King folks, so we'll call it Diceratops. And yes, you know what's unique about this showcase is that all these dinosaurs are new species. I've actually made new species out of them all. Uh, which one should we do next? Okay, we'll do... Ankyceratops we'll do next. Ankyceratops actually does have a dark secret involved in its design and you'll see what that dark secret is later when, when we when it fights other carnivores but yeah this Ankyceratops is an interesting one not too hard to, to make the biggest difficulty I probably say is like this spit by you Be mainly because I couldn't get clear enough images of this section but other than that yeah not too hard to make Ankyceratops it was mainly the model that was tougher you know, curving out the horns as well, which could be quite, which could have been quite tricky. And yes, for those of you that may not be able to tell, this is, well, this was the Chasmosaurus model. And I find that Chasmosaurus works really well with a lot of the Ceratopsid dinosaurs in Dinosaur King. So expect to see a lot of these species using the Chasmosaurus model. And yes, I <laughs> I added the two horns on the, on the top of the crest by here because I actually forgot they were there. So yeah, this is Ankyceratops. Looking very, very good there. Okie dokie now. Now for our third one, and this one is an interesting one. Because, well, you're gonna see what it is. But I'm sure you know what it is from the peck. Yes, we have the purple sheep of the lightning dinosaurs, the Zuniceratops, and yes, the interesting thing about this one is because Zuniceratops is actually a really, really small dinosaur, so what I had originally had planned is to use, well, I used the Chasmosaurus rig, because the Chasmosaurus rig seems to be the best model to use, as I said earlier, but it's, it still seems a little bit too big and not to actual size. Like, compare it to Ankyceratops, it's huge. I did try my best to shrink it down a little bit. But yeah, the original plan was to have this guy on a Nodosaurus rig, so it would look a lot smaller. But that plan, unfortunately, didn't happen. But hopefully, one day, we can get this guy shrunk down to a more realistic size. But for now, we have a Zuniceratops. A Zuniceratops on steroids, I should add, because of how big it is. Uh, this wasn't that difficult to make. You know, I, <laughs> I actually did forget to add these little bits of spikes on the back. Which a lot of people don't re realise Zuniceratops has, but it does. But yeah, it's mainly shades of purple. Because as I said, it's the purple sheep of the lightning dinosaurs. But yeah, I think I did a really good job. Especially around the head area. Looks really, really good. I'm very happy with how the horns turned out as well. And... Like Nidoceratops over there, it doesn't have a no nasal horn. Or at least I didn't see one. <laughs> but yeah, that's Zuniceratops for you. Okay, now we'll save the best for last. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is a Pachyrhinosaurus. Alright, I wanted to go into capture mode to show off this guy. So yes, we have the Pachy... Pachy... <laughs> almost said Pachyrhinosaurus. Yeah, Pachyrhinosaurus, I meant. <laughs> I, I almost said Pachycephalosaurus. No, this is Pachyrhinosaurus. And yes, you may be like looking at it and the first thing that probably comes to your attention is all these white like spider web things. And yes, it's hard to believe and you don't really notice it on the Dinosaur King model, but it does have these. It actually does have these, and in fact, it, it has it throughout the whole body. The reason why I've only done it like down by here, next around by the underbelly, is because when I did the whole body with this, it just 
looked weird and it didn't look right because these are very 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 thin lines that you hardly notice so I thought okay I'll do the line bits at the bottom because they're more noticeable and then I'll just have it like fade out into the bot into the body section and that's what I did and I think it looks really really good I really like it and again on the crest it's more noticeable so yeah I didn't really I left the, I didn't really wanted to not have these lines or cobwebs as I like to call them and yes I did use a Paki Rhinosaurus mod online which thankfully the um, author allows you to modify and improve it and I did I modified it it wasn't a new species so I had to convert it into a new species and voila so shout out to that kind surf for providing the base model for this guy because yeah Paki Rhinosaurus the dinosaur king one anyways it's a very unique model among the Pachyrhinosaurs. I think from what I've seen, it's the only one that actually has this horn sticking outwards like this instead of it being like flat. So yeah, this is Pachyrhinosaurus and definitely one of my finest creations. I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out actually. You know, again, I would have liked to have had all the, the lines throughout the whole body like it does have, but... It, did, it, it just didn't look right, so I can stick in with what I got. And yeah, from a distance, it looks really, really good. I love it. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased with how this turned out. It did take a lot of model editing, and again, this is a Chasmosaurus model. <laughs> Chasmosaurus are very popular ceratops. Very, very good at being manipulated and such. So yeah, that is all of the lightning dinosaurs I have to showcase. But it wouldn't be fun if we didn't have some fights with it. So let's release some carnivores into the ring and see if any of these herbivores can get some kills. Okay, they fight. Ooh, ooh, hang on. Here we go. We got our first fight that is between a Carnotaurus and a Zoomyceratops. I suspect the Carno is going to win. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, Zoomyceratops has lasted two seconds. Yes, I do want to see these herbivores get some kills, so if they don't, if they do die, which they're... Well, I'll tell you what, though. Zuni Ceratops put in a fight. But yeah, if they do all die off, I'll put in, like, modified ones so they're stronger. Go on, Zuni Ceratops. Oh, bless it. I tell you what, though, it did get off two hits before succumbing to the wrath of the Carnotaur. Blech. I hope you're proud of yourself, pal. You shouldn't be. You killed a defenseless herbivore. That you can literally step on. Ooh, here we go. We got a fight between Gorgosaurus and... Oh, well, Nidoceratops is gone. Although, the Gorgosaurus has taken a beat in me. Ugh, I'm going to have to modify them. Oh, Ceratosaurus is gone. Yeah, I'm going to put some modified ones in. Get in your Zuni Ceratops. Your buffed up goat buff you up as well. Actually, you have good stats. What are your stats? Yeah, 65 attack, 37 defense. That's pretty good. Oh, hang on. Kakiradontosaurus going up against Pachyrhinosaurus. Come on, Pachyrhinosaurus. Do something. You can do it. If you're being cute. See, all these carnivores are going to fight each other. Because all the lightning dinosaurs have died. Look at Anki Ceratops over there just living life. Your, Cerat your lightning brethren are dying over here. Get in here. Yeah, Pachyrhinosaurus is gone. <laughs> no surprise there. Okay, yeah. We're going to release some buffed up herbivores. Okay, a slight little update I should point out. And yes, I finally managed to fix the Shunosaurus. Well, I didn't fix it, Dino Nerd did, and apparently it, it does work on the Nitrosaurus pretty well. I think I must be doing something wrong. I'm probably doing something wrong when I make them into new species. Because I have, because I did the Saltosaurus, I made that thing into a new species using Nitrosaurus, and it doesn't work. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but hopefully I can be shown the errors of my ways, and we will be rocking it in no time. Oh, but for goodness sake, you're supposed to be fighting the carnivores, not putting heal it. Oh, hang on, here we go. Go on, Anki Ceratops, you haven't even had a fight yet. Ah, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. And you're going to see why in a minute. 
Go on, Ankyceratops, you can do it. Fight him. Fight the orange Mapusaurus. Look, you've got your brethren behind you supporting you. Yeah, get in there, lightning dinosaurs. Come on, get in there. Show them, give them a shock in time. Oh, oh, no. Come on, Ankyceratops, get a hit, get a hit. Oh, he got a hit. Ankyceratops taking no prisoners. Oh, he hit him again! <laughs> oh, the Mapusaur is not looking good. Can Ankyceratops do it? This is the Alpha Ankyceratops. Well, it said it was the Alpha. Oh, Diceratops coming in to help out there. Mapusaur always seems to suck. And oh my god, I think Mapusaur is dead. Yeah! Ankyceratops getting a kill. Look at, look at Zuniceratops watching. He's like, give it to him. Boom! Oh my god, you gained heights there. Well played, sir, well played. Oh, hang on. We've got another fight between Ankyceratops. Yes, yes, this Ankyceratops actually has poison. And it has poison because it is a reference to the fact that it used Death Grind in the anime. So it has very toxic gas, and the Mega Raptor has just found out. Although, it didn't help, didn't help Ankyceratops win, but this Mega Raptor is poisoned, so. It makes Ankyceratops a very interesting competitor here. As it as it will as it will poison other dinosaurs. No, oh, oh, no, it's ah, here we go. Ooh, Megalosaurus taking on Pachyrhinosaurus. Although Pachyrhinosaurus, oh my God, is dead. Oh bless it. Oh look at him, he's like, oh, do I have to? Yes, you have to fight him because I need content. So fight him. Fight him or I'll, I'll, or I'll remove all the herbivore feeders. You can either starve to death or accept getting killed by Negra. Your choice, pal. Your choice. And who knows? You might even win. Oh, a cock over there looking good. Go on, Diceratops. You can do it. Wait, why am I rooting for you? I should be rooting for the Mega Raptor. Go on, Mega Raptor. You can do it. Yeah, Diceratops biting the big one. But look, Mega Raptor doesn't even have a kill animation. He just... He just yields to his power. Ooh, we got a fight between the blue boys. We got the Kralophosaurus going up against the Pachyrhinosaurus. Go on, Pachyrhinosaurus. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I thought it was the other guy. Ooh, hang on. No, I tell you what. Pachyrhinosaurus might win this. Kralophosaurus not looking good at all. Boah! Bludgeoning it with... Breaking his jaw with his big horns, the crown of the source is gone. <laughs> Broken jaw, smashed teeth, and one. Did it sound like a grizzly bear then? <laughs> and one very dead cryo. Oh, look at the T Rex getting stuck straight in there. Ooh, hello, Gorgosaurus getting in there on the Ankyceratops. Ankyceratops has poisoned it as well, so it's really good. See, these Tyrannosaurs know what they're doing. They like killing home dinosaurs. But Ankyceratops is gone, and I suspect Zuniceratops is going to join it. Tell you what, it's hit the T-Rex, and this thing has been poisoned, so Gorgosaur is not in the best of shapes. Oh, there's a dead spine over there. I wonder who killed that thing. Ooh, I tell you what... Zuni Ceratops holding his own. Wait, is this the buffed up one? Ah, oh, that's why it's the buffed up one. Yes, you don't mess with the purple sheep. Okay, I, I think I think we can end the session here. We've seen we've seen these horned dinosaurs get some kills. We've seen them get killed, and we've seen them in action, and we've seen their skins and their beautifulness. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you new want to subscribe, feel free to do so. And until the next showcase, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.